Hi Cancer, uh, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Uh, welcome and um, I hope that you're safe and you're healthy. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, Cancer, so I've taken the liberty of pulling the cards um, for the sake of time and the fact that my nails are not polished and ready so anyhow um cancer just this week it could be about moving a physical move of residence or moving away from a person that um you just know the situation is not good it's not equal it's not balanced it just isn't um it's not going to work, and you, and you know that. You know that if this is a physical move, you know that you know that, that is true, that it's not going to work. If this is a proverbial move away from, you know, a drama-filled situation or person. Some of you So, the situation here is that you have to have a change of course, of journey, and of home here. And it's, it's bittersweet because you are used to your three cups down here in the four cups. And you're not seeing the possibilities in what's being offered to you on that silver platter that one cup that's being offered to you from the heavens you're not seeing the, the capability the possibilities you can't see the forest for the trees so you're discontent you're unfulfilled you're bored with the move that you had to make okay um, but the advice here is for you to know that this was sheer luck and this is good fortune do know that luck and fortune is on your side um you just don't get to control how it turns out for you how it plays out there's an ending of some some way of how you used to be what you used to do with a certain person it's the the ending, they want you know it's ending or it has ended. But even in that ending is good good fortune. Is um a beneficial change. Can be abundance and prosperity and moving forward. Because if you take the advice of the cards and understand that you're lucky that maybe um, you moved away from a person that wasn't serving you, um, if you look at it that way, then you'll come to a place of the outcome will be the seven of pentacles. You'll be... at a place of evaluation you can better make a dis you can yeah make a better decision with okay i'm just hearing it flat out more money more insight things were were cloudy where it's murky Or things are but the advice is is for you to look at this as a fortunate change and not one where you're discontent and you're bored with it and it's just not what you wanted and, and you're hoping and wishing to go back to an old place an old way of being but the cards want you to understand that you're into something new and it's going to put you in a better position to make decisions to make choices to 
to get a better return on your investment. If you clear the energy, if you give it some space, whatever it may be, maybe a person, place, or thing, I don't know. Um, someone could do uh, be very charitable to you. They could want to help you. Or vice versa, you're doing this with someone else. You're being very charitable and, and helpful with them. But at the same time, wondering, will this manifest into something solid and stable? Whatever it is you're doing, if this is a relationship, a marriage, a business, how you're coming off is being at a place of evaluation, practicing caution, in regards to what you do and what you put yourself in and the the uh, responsibilities that you take on you you're just not going to continue to just jump into things um you're making an active choice to maybe engage in a relationship or yeah engage in a relationship that is better for you that is more balanced that is equal there's you know giving and taking uh for the both of you and it's just balanced some of you have been holding back how you feel about a particular person maybe they differ from the norm of what you of who or what you date i said what you date or maybe you know who or what you date they differ from you know that that uh, prototype that you have or you have had and you wonder about this relationship how far can it really go because there's a dynamic of someone being older and the other being younger the other one being more experienced the other not you know, they're just experiencing life and, and yeah. Some of you just need to forgive yourself. This is not a failure, whatever this may be. You need to understand that newness is coming in for you. Uh, do process your emotions. Um relationships are coming to a place of where you're really looking at this and your this relationship or this marriage and evaluating it on a, a, a grand scale and wondering if you want to move forward and for some of you it's wanting to move forward but not being able to actually voice what you want or not being able to provide whatever it is you want for the relationship. Some of you need to hang out with friends. You need to get back out there. You need to, if you're in a relationship, give to the relationship. Take time, spend time if you can. Um, someone feels deeply for another, but is not able to, or doesn't feel like it's the right time, the right time to um, voice how they feel, so they they hold back. This could be you, this could be the other person. You could be holding back your feelings because you don't want to get hurt you have been hurt in this relationship or a past one for some of you you could have been dealing with the sagittarius a piscean person this person brought you down to a place of maybe you felt as low as you could go and that could be in any aspect financially emotionally physically whatever
You could be dealing with another Cancer, a Leo. Some of you are weighing up option, weighing up the option to take a husband or a wife back because this person is very materialistic, immature, all about themselves. There's a new idea. Every time you turn the corner with this person, they're just not stable. Cancer, the advice here is for you to understand that whatever necessary change you let usher into your life and you just took hold to it, do know that it's a, a lucky move. It's a good change. And after all the dust settles, you'll be in a place of being able to make a better decision about your relationship, your marriage, your business. Business can be career also. Um, so do know that rest in an energy of knowing that there's newness coming in for you. Um, you, you or someone else feels very deep for another but you're unable to speak that to voice it or you just don't think it's the right time um also some of you don't want the other person back the feelings are the adverse you just don't you don't want it you're okay with not having it some of you feel like there's a particular person in your life right now in their wish fulfillment like they they um they check all the boxes and then they they check even more boxes boxes you didn't even know that you wanted checked you know this person is wish fulfillment for you um you feel very happy with them but there's something about you that you need to isolate and fix and then it looks like um Really good things can come into you once you do that. Cancer, I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Um, take advantage of the text uh, question. You can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Cancer. Take care.